Yo, what's up everybody? Job here. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to copy your profile, your settings, stuff like that through your paper doll settings, how to copy it over to another character, another uh, profile in Outland. So uh, this can be useful for things like, you know, when you got all your settings just right and your macros in game and you got a new character you want to make, whatever, you don't have to recreate all those things. So uh, this is a quick, easy way to just Set them once, copy them over to your other characters, and uh, go about your business. So you've got your character. So here you are. You got all your settings finely made, all the stuff that's particular to you, your macros in game, uh, you know, all the cool stuff that the classic client enables. Um, and they keep adding stuff all the time. It's so, so dope. Um, but you know, there's a lot to this. There's a lot of... It's tedious to have to do that. However many more times you want to do it for however many more characters you got. If you want to have similar, you know, setups between them. So, you know, you think you're just going to go log into your other character. Logging into another character, you'll quickly see that none of the settings just move over. So if you're creating new characters, you know, or you had to reinstall the client and didn't back up your your data, whatnot. So the easiest way to get to where your profile data is stored is if you do have a desktop icon for Outlands, which I believe the installer places on your desktop by default unless you uncheck it. Um, but if you just right click it, you should be able to, you should have an option that says open file location. Um, that will bring you right to it. If you don't have the open file location option, uh, don't worry. You can either hit the Windows key on your keyboard or click the Windows key on the bottom left of your default screen and just start typing C colon, just C and a colon, and then hit enter. This will pull up your C drive. So from here, you're at the root of your C drive. Uh, you'll want to go to Program Files x86. And from here, scroll down until you find Ultima Online Outlands. And just double click that. I actually have a different install path for my UO uh, client. I just have it on the root of my C under a folder called Outlands. But I will be replacing my path with a little picture that's right here that shows the default path. <clears throat> if your path is different, right clicking your shortcut, going to that file location is your best option to find this. So this is what your. Um, this is what the Outlands install folder looks like. Uh, we're using the classic UO client here. That's what I'll be demonstrating. But the same technique can be found in all the different clients somewhat. It's, they're analogous. And they all kind of have the same you know, structure. You know, it's got, there's folders in here with profile, folder names. And then within it, the settings, you can usually just copy and paste those. Anyways, double click on the classic UO folder. Double click on the data folder then double click on profiles. Here are all your account profiles um, that you use. So if you only use one account to access UO Outlands, you'll only have one folder here. If you play on two or three accounts, you'll have two or three folders. So what you will want to do from here, find the account folder that contains the character who has the settings you want. In this case, I'm going to be copying the profile settings from Waduheck. So inside this profile folder, you see here's some files. So copy the entire thing because it's got all the settings I want in that last client. I want on this other client or profile. And so I bring it on over to old Jim Tom. Currently, he's got files in here from when I logged in on his character. So you can either just copy over these, or you can just delete these in here. Um, if you do copy over, make sure you select to overwrite existing files, but just delete them, whatever, and then paste your files into this folder. So now, if we go to that character and we log in, we should, as we do, have our new settings. So, music's not blaring. Screen's not all weird looking and, you know, small or too big, whatever your case may be. Got all your macros. 
everything you need. I also want to add that I would suggest, especially if you're really hardcore about your settings, copy those files to a USB or another storage device uh, so that, you know, in case something happens, you will be able to restore them. Um, other than that, it's pretty cut and dry. If I miss something or you got a question, hit me up in the comments, hit me up in Discord, Job Gamers, uh, hit me up in Outlands, uh, hit me up on a block. You get that number. Let me know what you want to see. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Hit the like, hit the subscribe. You know the drill. Peace out.